Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at My Health Box. This is an app for those of you who have uh, medications that you'd like to keep information readily available uh, for many reasons. Maybe you uh, are, are constantly getting asked by medical professionals uh, about the medications or um, maybe some of them are difficult medications and you want to have that information readily available in case anything uh, happens and you need to share that information. So you can go to My Health Box, their website, and actually um, sign up for an account, uh, or you can just come into the app and, and sign up at the beginning. But once you're signed up and, uh, and everything, you can view this screen right here, where you can see your profile. You can see I have my basic information set right here. I have my medications list, which is just a list of medications that I could uh, come up with that I'm familiar with, and then a demo medication as well. You can also view e-leaflets that you've downloaded. What's nice about these leaflets is, uh, I mean, you know, we've seen those leaflets that come with our medications, and uh, typically we um, throw them out or put them in a drawer. Um, these e-leaflets are interactive, and so let's tap on that and take a look. This is for the the Levisir, I believe that's how you say, uh, leaflet. And uh, so it's a, a nice looking leaflet. You can see here there's even audio available. So if we wanted to play that audio, we could. We can view our summary. We can uh, come into this app and kind of toggle through to different areas and then uh, move up and down through this leaflet. Um, we have these different buttons on the side that allows us to view uh, our instructions right here. We can go straight to that section. Um, we could tap right here to get contact information and then down here for uh, adverse reaction reports. Um, and so we can view all of that information here. We can type in some symptoms uh, and different things that we had going on and enter them. Um, and uh, that information gets entered in and we can send that off as well. So uh, very, very interesting what we can do with that uh, that e-leaflet. We also have alerts that are available to us when we have a medication, for example, maybe one of these medications, and um, we have all the information for the medication here, but sometimes uh, so something comes up with a medication. Um, for example, uh, a while back, Celebrex had a recall in the United States, for example, and so if I wanted to be kept up on that information, alerts, notification, and news, uh, depending on the type of information, um, it would show up in those sections. So uh, if I had an alert, um, I'd want to pay attention to that. We can also use the map to find a pharmacy. Um, I am currently here in the U.S., which uh, there are um, the pharmacies that uh, this app services are located in Europe, so I would need to zoom out quite a bit here and uh, travel across the sea uh, into Europe so that I can find um, some, uh, some pharmacies. So zooming in and zooming in, I can, um, as the map updates, I can uh, find a pharmacy, tap on it, and get that information about that pharmacy. Uh, looks like that map isn't really updating that quick right at this moment course it's using my internet connection in order to do that all right so on the Android there are two different versions of this app there is the light and the full version the light version is limited to the amount of uh, medications that you can list and it also has um, ads as you can see the full version which is uh, pretty inexpensive um, has a lot more options uh, as far as how many medications you can you can hold in this app as well as uh, it also has um, no ads. So of course I don't really know my way around Europe so it's going to be kind of hard for me to find a pharmacy uh, in Europe but if there was a pharmacy uh, located in any of these spots um, it would show up as a pin and I can tap on that pin and get information about that pharmacy so that I could potentially travel to that pharmacy um, and uh, uh, you know, I have all my medication information right in the app so that I can access that and show my pharmacist or the pharmacist at that location everything that's, uh, uh, that I'm taking and it, they have all that information right there. You can also view their website just by tapping right here. It's very simple to use this app. Um, we have a settings section for uh, setting your language. Of course, I'm looking at it in English right now, but it is multilingual. We've got German, Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, 
um, many different languages to choose from. So if you're looking for an app to help uh, keep you informed with your medications, um, keep all of that information readily available in your Android device. Uh, My Health Box is that app for you. Of course, this app is also available uh, on iOS devices such as your iPhone or iPod Touch. So uh, make sure that you check that out. If you do have that type of a device, you can go into the App Store and get that. Uh, but for My Health Box on the Android, go into the Android market and check it out today.